First of all, James, is there any injury health news ahead of the weekend for the team? Yeah, let's, let's, apologies for being slightly late today. It's out of character, but we just got Curtis's scan back. It's not good news. He'll be out for a lengthy period of time, six, seven weeks. Um, so that's disappointing. And the same as Sadu as well, exactly the same time frame. So two more injuries. Um, we can't account for them, though. They're, they've come from, obviously, um, they're not muscle injuries, they're challenges. And really, again, it's a poor challenge on Curtis. I've watched it back. It's a, probably a disgraceful tackle, really, from the, the lad, South End. So completely unnecessary from the side high. Wasn't even given a foul. So... Um, it's baffling, really. How difficult is that to take? It feels like a repeat of, of when we've spoken to you recently with a similar issue. Yeah, but look, we've got to be positive as we can, um, give him the right rehab and make sure in December when he returns, um, we're in a good position still. And look, we've, we've got a squad of players. Yes, that's running thin now. Um, we can't keep picking up these injuries, of course. And it doesn't seem like the, the gods are on our side at the moment. Do you have to look to add? Just to, to help the depth, if nothing else? We're not in a position to add at the moment. So, look, I, I need to give the players an opportunity. They've been on the periphery of it a little bit. They get an opportunity tomorrow as well. And, um, look, we're, we're in a good place. And I've said that before, the methodology of training is shown for the likes of Jeff King, who had some time out. He's come in and had some fantastic performances. So it shows the training is at the right temperature, if you like. Um, and they're getting what they need so players that perhaps are in and out of the team or have a spell out with injury when they come back they're ready to to perform Is this game a good one maybe to have next then? You know it's an opportunity for, for players to um, to put in a good performance and, and show that they're ready to step in if when needed Yeah but also any, any I've mixed the team up so I don't like to say that the players are the fringe players or whatever they're not they've you know, players that will start tomorrow have started many games in the season so we're going to win the game um, it's definitely not I don't view it as a weakened team or anything like that everyone's equal in my change room and I pick a team to win the game but obviously the outliers that come into that are we've got a heavy three games coming up the following week big games in the league um, and my mind's obviously um, fully focused on the game tomorrow and giving the players that put the shirt on the full support they need in the, in the game plan to win the game how does a cup run fit into the goals for this team this year? Well, like it's, it's difficult because obviously the, the two injuries that we've just had as well, um, We of course we want a cup run and we'll be giving our utmost tomorrow to win the game. Um, everyone loves a cup run and you can draw anyone out of the hat up to League One obviously in the next round. So, And the financial outlay that you, you receive for, for winning is, is big too for, for our club. So, look... Uh, I want to do the best as the leader of the club to to make sure that we uh, we get in the hat. What can you tell us about Kurz and Ashton? Yeah, they performed really well this year. They're probably punching above their weight in terms of their position. I know they lost their last one, but before that they hadn't lost for quite some time. Um, so the pitch looks lovely there, so that should suit us. And um, I know I've been in many of these ties before. They're going to come for us and we've got to be ready. James, the club revealed it had turned down an approach from South End for you this week. Can you give us your perspective on that news? Yeah, I'll, I'll put it to bed. I've got no interest in going anywhere else. When I, when I first stepped in here, I've got a great working relationship with the board and the first thing, the objective was to inspire everybody. I think we've done that. I think the, the attendances reflect that. I think the community work that the players and myself are doing in, in line with the great staff over there, um, we've inspired people and we're everyone's back in the fold in terms of loving their club again, looking at the results, following the team away, following the team at home. Um, and some of the comments I've received in the community have been first class about the, the conduct of the players and the staff in the community, at the gym, etc. So we've done that. We've got the right personnel. There's been a lot of changes on and off the field. Uh, working closely with the board, we've made some good decisions. And now we're in the progress stage where a couple of players maybe were shocked departures in the summer. But that's because we'd, we've sort of probably reached that step where quicker than we thought because of our league position finishing sixth. And now we're obviously trying to transform into that number one spot, which is why this league's so difficult and promotion so difficult. I find it fascinating that I think six of the top eight now in League Two have been in the National League in the last four years. I think something, some stat like that. So that's, that shows you that this is a very difficult league to get out of. And once you do... Um, there's nothing to fear in the next one and a lot of the players that are in those squads uh, in the main 
our players that were playing in the National League with those clubs. So it shows that um, there's nothing to fear in the next step either. Is it flattering to get interest from elsewhere, though? It generally only happens when things are going well for a manager, doesn't it? Yeah, of course. Look, I, I don't want to speculate too much on it. I, I, th- I think I've answered that question in terms of where my future is. Um, it's definitely here and I want to achieve here. Um, I'm loving my time here as the manager. I'm blessed to be here and I want to lead this club to, to success. And that's the third step is to achieve. So we're in the progress stage now, inspire, progress. And the last bit is just to achieve. And the only way you can achieve here because of the level we're at and where we should be as a club is a medal around your neck. And um, that's what we're all striving for. And we're not scared or, or put off by, um, you know, uh, not achieving that milestone. Everything's geared to achieving and um, we're not going to shy away from, from the expectation of that. Um, can I ask about Fraser Kerr? Is he OK? Yeah, he's, he's OK. Look, he had some time off training. Uh, he needed a little rest when he's OK. He's in for, the, for selection tomorrow, but I need to see how he is today. And obviously, again, it comes into my thought process that we can't lose anyone else for the long term. We have to control the controllables. Um, and that's what's been disappointing about the injuries. Other than Jack Clark... Um, where I take a little bit of responsibility for that one because where he is in his development, Jack, we're obviously working on his power. And that's the only muscle injury we've had. Um, it was disappointing that it was a nasty one as well, but we've obviously been stacking him up a little bit in the gym, doing some power work, um, some intense um, sprint work, etc. during that pre-season, off-season and also at the start of the season. And we lost him, obviously, to that muscle injury. Um, which I was disappointed about, which is unusual for our department, the medical department will normally bang on. So it happens, that can slip through the net sometimes when you're, you're mixing development and first team experience. Um, but other than that, I think we've been very, very unfortunate with the injuries we picked up. Um, so that's just the lap of the gods at the moment, but we're still in a good place. We're a good place in the league. We've performed really well. I think out of the 11 games, we've had um, six very, very good performances. Um, probably three good ones and then two poor ones so in the main we've performed very well this season What's the nature of the injuries to Curtis and, and Seydou? So Seydou's tweaked his knee a ligament and also uh, we've just literally before I've come in here we've been waiting for Curtis's scan to come back I've just found out so that one's a slight tear also on a ligament in his ankle so um, we can't mess around with that. There's nothing we can do. So that's that comes from that tackle in the corner. Poor tackle. Um, I can't believe it wasn't even given as a foul. So the players that potentially could come in tomorrow, what, what would you like to see from them to give you, um, you know, what would you, what would you like to see from them? Just the same. I don't think that it's fringe players coming in at all. We're one in that change room and. The players know they can they can start any game at any time. We mix the team up in terms of, OK, how can we hurt the opposition? How best can we get our DNA out in the game and how we want to play? And of course, it comes down to winning. It's a results business. So the team tomorrow is to win the game, um, but to make sure, obviously, we don't lose anyone for the long term that affects our winning culture in the future. So this, it's a hard job at the moment. It's a fine balance needed. Um, and I'm sure everybody can understand that um, the predicament we're in at the moment. It's, it's coming up to your one-year anniversary at the club uh, next month. Do you see yourself being here for, for quite some time? Yeah, I've signed the contract that I have the length of time for a reason. Um, I'm fully committed to seeing that out um, and fully committed to wanting to achieve here at the club. Um, I'm blessed to be the manager of this football club. I'm really settled in the area. Love the, love coming into work. And if you love what you do every day, then why would you want it to change anything? So uh, I'm fully focused on that. And I hope that puts the speculation to bed, really. I don't want these constant questions about my future uh, and speculating, etc. Yes, people can do that, of course, but not in my eyeline, really. I, I don't want that. Um, I've said what I needed to say. I've said it before. And um, there's no interest here in me going anywhere else.